Good evening, Trinity Lutheran Christian School parents. Welcome to Back to School Night, grades 1 through 8. We have a nice program for you. You get to see a little bit of technology tonight and experience just another level of your sons or daughters' teachers this evening. So we're so glad that you're with us. We've had a great start in the Lord under the theme, Press On, from Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. As we begin really every program here at Trinity, we're going to have a brief devotion and a prayer, and uh, it will be geared to, again, uh, press on as the theme. Most people know that I'm a big football fan, and for me, in a few days, the Green Bay Packers open their season against the Minnesota Vikings. And I know tomorrow, on Friday, Mr. Merritt is organizing a Purple Day here at Trinity Lutheran Christian School. My day is going to be green and gold, uh, signifying the Packers. But anyway, I love football. I can't wait for the season to start. I'm going to tell you a story that happened in 1929 at the 1929 Rose Bowl between Georgia Tech and the heavily favored University of Southern California Trojans. USC was great during that particular year, and they were expected to just run through Georgia Tech. But something in the middle of the game happened that changed the course of that game and ended up being called the greatest blunder in college football ever. It happened with a gentleman by the name of Roy Regals, who was a lineman for the University of Southern California. A member of the Georgia Tech football team fumbled the ball. Mr. Regals picked it up and began running the wrong way towards the wrong goal. By the time they stopped him, he was almost over the goal line, and two plays later, there was a safety, and Georgia Tech was awarded two points. You see why this is significant is Georgia Tech beat USC that day by one point. Regals ran the wrong way. You know, there's so many times in our lives right now when we run the wrong way, when we press on towards the wrong goal, but here we're given what we have from our Lord and Savior in Philippians 3, 13 and 14. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. That's our goal. That's the goal line that we want to cross. That's where we want to be, knowing that the goodness and graciousness of our Lord and Savior is upon us each and every day. And we press on to cross that goal line to join him and be part of his heavenly brilliance, not to be looking at it from afar. There are days here on earth when we may press on toward the wrong goal, but we know eventually that our Lord and Savior tackles us, wraps his loving arms around us, and points us in the direction of the right goal. So we press on, and we press on daily in that goodness and that graciousness of our Lord and Savior. We pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for the 2020-2021 school year. We thank you for a great start here at Trinity Lutheran Christian School, and we ask that your blessings would continue to be upon us as we press on toward the goal that you have for us, being a part of your kingdom and enjoying the eternal salvation that always enables us to cross that goal line and to cross it in the right way. All of this we ask and thank you in your son's name. Amen. Folks, have a great evening tonight uh, getting to meet your teachers yet again. And we give thanks to them for their efforts and you for entrusting your children to us. And as I always say to you and to our staff, there is no higher calling than bringing a child up in the strength and admonition of their Lord and Savior. Have a blessed evening. All right. Welcome, Welcome to, the first to first grade. grade. I'm Mrs. Hebding. I'm Miss Markle. So first, we're going to talk about some folders that the children are going to have. One is a take-home folder, which is green. And in the folder, it's labeled, leave at home and return to school. And on the leave at home side is checked work and finished work. 
some of the examples of things that are going to be coming back to school for return to school is the homework chart will always stay in there for the week. Homework will be about 30 minutes. Um, it might be math, spelling, reading. Happy student, we're going to start next month in October, which is going to be a friendly letter. And um, more about that in just a minute, as well as forms to complete. And all tests need to be signed and returned. Another folder that the students have is a blue folder. That's going to be for their Bible verse. So each week, the students are going to have a Bible verse that they're going to glue into the folder as part of their homework. The Bible verse is practiced at home as well as in class. Once your child can recite the Bible verse to you, then you're just going to initial in the spot um, by that Bible verse and then return the folder to school and your child will tell the Bible verse to the teacher. Next we're going to talk about happy student. So happy student takes the place of what you probably remember um, from a while ago, star student. And a child brings in some items and we display just the photos in the class because of we can't be keeping items at school because of our coronavirus going around. So we're trying to keep everyone safe. The items should fit into the bag and uh, no one else touches the items. The children just hold them up one at a time, share them, and then the photos get paper clipped onto a bulletin board for everyone to see, and the photos get returned back to you at the end of the week. So students will become good at writing um, short, friendly letters, and it's a wonderful keepsake. The children really treasure it each month, or each time that we do it, and uh, the teachers have been really enjoying it throughout the years and it's another way to get to know each other better. Okay, next we're going to talk about classroom procedures and one of the big differences between kindergarten and first grade is that there's more structure in kindergarten. There's also more of a need for the children to be able to work quietly as well as independently. We do have um, group incentives where we'll work together as a class that we'll talk about in a few minutes as well as individual incentives. Um, the morning routine includes time for them um, to get ready for the day, they can go to the bathroom, social time, as well as morning work. So it's very important that the children get here in time so that they have time to do all of that and to properly prepare for the day. Also, at the beginning of the year, on the first day, one of the things that we did was develop rules as a class. And then for our behavior management system, we use a color code system. So for our behavior management plan, we have the colors green, yellow, orange, and red. And the children, all their names are on a closed pin, and they all start off on green for the day. Um, if we, we go over the rules, especially the, the first month of school and procedures like all the time, and then we might need some reminders here and there along the year as well. But the, the children say that if I have to talk to a child about talking more than once and they get a warning and we let them know what it was for and then they would move down to yellow and that would be five minutes time out quietly and then hopefully if they wouldn't it wouldn't happen again but if it does then they would move their clip down to orange 10 minute time out and then the last one's 15 minute time out um, so repeat behaviors, they earn lunch detention or no recess. So it's not going to happen the first time around, but if it keeps happening on a routine basis, hopefully that would not happen. But if it does, then that's when it affects, um, they have to eat lunch quietly in the classroom or sit down um, out of the recess for that day. And we would always talk to the parents about that before um, that would happen too, because it would happen the next day as well. Um, so the children have the opportunity to move back one color after making better choices. So it's not like that they um, would have to stay on yellow the whole day. If, if they had to move to yellow, if they made better choices from what they were doing, they can move back to green. So their goal is to end back on green and to get a smiley face on their chart. And then they have a sticker that they put on their individual charts. And then at the end, when it's all filled, then they get to go to the treasure box. So they're all excited about that. So class and individual incentives. So the class incentive, the children, uh, we are big on teamwork, even though we can't be around each other so much. We could still work as a team. 
uh, by striving to, to follow and complete the same goals. So when they complete activities, they do a good job in the main subject areas or when they're at special area classes or even in the hallway. Uh, they earn um, items to put into, into a jar. I know in Ms. Markle's class they're doing pennies. In my class they, we put, I put a marble in and then when it's completely filled then, then they can have a classroom um, party. Like little um, things to look forward to and we vote on that. So sometimes it's, it might even be um, playing some games that are socially distanced. Um, or have an extra recess outside, or there, there's some other things that we can do too, but that's just something that they really look forward to and work together as, as a team for it. Individual incentives, that's what I was explaining earlier with uh, the behavior plan. So as long as they end on green at the end of the day and they get a sticker that's placed on their individual chart and then when it's all filled, then they get to go to the treasure chest. Um, for pickup information, um, let us know anytime that there's changes in your regular pickup information. Um, so like if somebody different is going to be picking up the normal as well as early pickup. Um, if you know before the school day starts or before that day, um, an email is good. Um, if you find out after the school day has started, um, please just call the school office and then they'll let us know the changes for the day. Because um, if you send an email after school has started, uh, we're probably not going to be able to see that email until later on in the day or even after dismissal time. And so it's important for that information um, to get to us to call the school office. And also the person who's going to be picking up needs to be on the authorized pickup list and you can just call into the office and they can take care of that um, for you if they're not already on there. And then just let the person know who's picking up that the first time, if we don't know that person, that they need to have their license for verification. Okay, so for grades, a check mark on the paper just means that we've seen the paper. And that would be in the left side of their folder to leave it home. Tests are going to have percentages on them and they need a parent signature. So again, that would be on the right side of the folder. Um, and then homework is going to be checked for completion and it's going to be corrected, but it's not going to go towards their grade. And progress reports, we grade um, four times a year. So the first one's going to be in November and there are specific skills for each subject. So P is proficient, SP means steady progress. So like they're working on it, but they're not quite there yet. N means that they need improvement and I is improving. And then there's also personal and social attitudes um, that would be in different things like demonstrating self-control, um, following directions, those types of things. So one is exceeding expectations, two meeting, three improvement, and then four is needs improvement. So that's what you're going to be seeing on the report cards for each of the quarters this year. So all of our curriculum for the major subjects follows the Maryland state standards. So we made sure um, once we have the um, curriculum that we look for those and then we follow and, and make sure that we're covering as much as possible with the state standards before the school year ends. The language arts is by McGraw-Hill and it's the Wonder Series. The lessons are all taught on the interactive board, but students also have workbooks that they use and they read out of anthologies. We also break into three reading groups and it's for leveled readers. So it helps address um, all the reading skills for across the board for the students. So we have reading and phonics to build fluency of writing, grammar, and spelling, and bi-weekly and end-of-year unit test throughout the school year. And then for math, the curriculum that we use is Zadler, and it's very much a hands-on approach where the children are using manipulatives, and they have online accounts, so you're going to be getting information for that um, later on. Some homework assignments are going to be assigned to them on Sadler where they're going to go on to the website um, to complete them. And then also, um, if we were to go virtual this year, then they would be uh, completing class assignments on there. 
We will also be using the iPads in the classroom for extra practice for math and I'm going to be using different apps like Splash Math. For Bible, our Bible curriculum is from Deep Roots and it's we use it on our interactive board as well. And we teach the Christian character traits as well as all of the Bible stories. So our Bible verse, as what was explained before, that is in the blue folder that we practice each week in class and it's related to the Bible stories and the verses. We keep in the blue folder, practice them all through in the week. And once the child recites it to their parent at home, parent initials it, sends it back into the teacher, and the child recites it to their teacher, I initial it, and they earn a sticker for it, and they're all proud of themselves. For science and social studies, we alternate between those two subjects. So right now we're doing social studies, so next we'll be doing science. We do at least one STEAM activity each quarter, so STEAM would be incorporating science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Um, so the children always enjoy doing um, those fun um, activities. And we also use um, different items like the Scholastic Classroom News, Discovery Education, uh, Mystery Science, and other websites um, to incorporate into our curriculum that all follow the state standards. So Seesaw is a multi-use site and the children when they started using it and actually in the springtime when we had to go to completely online learning it was wonderful so that the children could actually um, complete their work for a variety of different activities for a lot of different subject areas and then they could submit their work and it gets placed into their individual folder the children love being able to get on there they can do um, art they can complete assignments on there. There's different assignments that ask you to uh, talk into the microphone, so it's recording their voices. And it's just an array of different things that they can do on Seesaw. And the teachers love it because it's there that we can see it all within a portfolio folder for each child. And there will be more information coming home on that in the future for logins. Um, but we had to wait until after we got done with the back to school night to get that started. For um, birthdays, the items that um, you send in with your child, if you choose to do so for their birthday, um, it has to be store bought, individually packaged, and it also has to be nut free. So, so some examples could be things like Oreos, Cheez Its, pretzels, lollipops. It doesn't have to be food related. Um, it could be things like pencils, erasers, bookmarks. And if your child has a summer birthday, they're going to be celebrated at the end of the year. So we would notify you and ask you um, like if there's a um, particular day that you would like to be sending in um, something for the class. So the big thing is just that it has to be the store bought, nut free and individually packaged. So we've had a wonderful week and a day um, to start off the school year and the kids they've been doing an amazing job getting used to wearing masks and following routines and procedures and all in all the children and the teachers were happy to be back in the building but if you have any uh, questions or concerns or at any time please feel free to contact us with our emails as you can see on the slide there and we're really looking forward to having an exciting first grade year. Take care. Good afternoon, padres, fathers, and mothers, and family. Me llamo Señora Dos Santos. My name is Mrs. Dos Santos. I am la maestra de español, your Spanish teacher this year for your children from kindergarten to fifth grade. I've been teaching here at Trinity Lutheran School this will be my sixth year, and I'm so happy to begin 2020, 2020, 2021. With the younger children, I use a series that's called Teach Them Spanish. It contains a lot of repet rep repetition, repetitive actions with songs, games, puzzles, crosswords, word searches. We build on each year more vocabulary and a little bit of grammar that will lead them eventually into middle school for more fully conversational 
Spanish. Everything has been posted on my blog if you want to get more full details and uh, welcome you to the journey. Vamos a presionar. We're going to press on to learn Espanol this year. Adios. Good evening again. Family and friends, parents of students here, Trinity Lutheran Christian School, we hope that you've had a most blessed evening with us and that it's been informative and yet you got to meet teachers one more time yet uh, this evening. We thank you for entrusting your children to us. We ask God's richest blessings upon you this day. We hope that you've had a wonderful Wednesday, that you have a great rest of the week, and for those of you that are Ravens fans, you know that Purple Friday is coming here, as well as probably Purple Sunday for each one of you. We are thankful that you are part of the family, and we are grateful to spend time with you once again tonight. We hope that you've had a great day with us today and every day, and we ask God's richest blessings upon you and your family this evening and every day. Have a blessed evening.